Hello, I'd like to talk to you about thermal expansion and demonstrate thermal expansion. Here I have a statement uh, of thermal expansion. Most things expand when heated, but water near the freezing point is an exception. We're going to demonstrate those things that expand uh, when heated. For example, here I have a brass ball on the end of a rod. And here I have a brass ring on the end of another uh, equivalent rod. And uh, I'm going to heat up this ball first of all. Note that the ball just barely, just barely fits through <laughs> uh, the uh, ring. So let's heat up the ball and see what happens. So we'll heat up the, uh, the ball and demonstrate that the ball gets larger. As the temperature of the ball increases, uh, this is what thermal expansion is all about. So it'll take a few seconds to heat up the ball. We heat up the outside first and then conducts to the inside so that the ball on the average is now at a higher temperature than it was before. And we see now the ball is, uh, is larger than it was. Now I'd, I would have to exert considerable effort to push that ball through the ring. But let's what happens, watch what happens as I heat up the ring now while uh, maintaining the temperature of the ball. I'm going to heat up the ring while I maintain the temperature of the ball so that we don't uh, let the ball cool off. Heat up the ring and uh, keep the ball hot and uh, let's watch what happens next. Now we see the hole has expanded as the brass around it has expanded and uh, oftentimes that's quite surprising to see that if you heat up a piece of material with a hole cut in it that the hole expands along with the rest of the material. Actually what happens is the inner diameter of the ring expands, the outer diameter of the ring expands, the thickness expands, everything expands uniformly uh, and all of the molecules move apart a little bit from one another whether those are the molecules of brass in the ball or the molecules of brass uh, in, the, uh, in the ring. Now what I'd like to do is take the uh, ring and quickly cool it off you see it's up to the boiling point temperature a little above and we'll cool that down show that the ring then contracts upon cooling and then we'll cool the uh, ball down so let's let that ball cool off until it gets back down to the temperature of the ring and we'll see that again at the same temperature the ball will just fit through the ring uh, while that ball continues to cool I'd like to do another uh, demonstration along those same lines. Here I have a, a copper plate that I drilled a hole through it, one half inch diameter hole, and here I have a one half inch diameter bit. But there's just a little bit of a problem. The bit does not fit through the hole. So uh, obviously the hole is just a little bit smaller than a one half inch diameter. What can I do to increase the size of that hole? I can heat it up. Heat up this material around here, which I will do with this propane torch in just a minute. Uh, and then see if we can get this uh, half inch bit to fit through that hole, which we will then uh, bring up to uh, the full one half inch or slightly larger. Now let's see, uh, back to our other experiment here. Let's see how the ball and the ring are doing. And uh, we see that now the ball does again, with a small amount of effort, uh, fit, uh, through, uh, fit through the uh, hole in the, in the ring. Okay, now let's go back to this uh, copper plate and the drill bit, uh, where the bit uh, does not quite fit through the hole. Well, let's heat up this copper plate and see if we can get that hole to expand in much the same way that we had this uh, 
hole through this brass ring expand as we heated the ring. To do that, I'm going to take a little hotter torch than uh, what we had uh, with the natural gas. I'm going to take this propane torch here, and uh, we're going to uh, uh, heat up this plate uh, more or less uniformly all the way around the hole, clear out to the edge of the plate, and see if we can get it hot enough for that uh, for that ring or for that hole to open up to where the uh, drill bit will, uh, will move uh, through it. So I continue to add heat to this and it'll take, uh, it'll take just a few more seconds here to, uh, to come up to a high enough temperature to where that hole is uh, now large enough to allow that one half inch drill bit to slip right on through. We can see from the, uh, the change in color there that an oxide uh, is forming on the surface. That indicates it's quite hot and uh, we want to maintain that temperature and get it hot enough for that hole to uh, open right up. I think that's probably sufficiently hot now. Let's set this aside and uh, try the experiment. And we see the drill bit now just slips right on through until it starts to cool off again. And uh, the hole has opened up. Now let me make a confession at this point. I actually drilled that hole with this bit, but I did it while the plate was hot. And it was a little bit of a trick to drill a little bit, heat it up, drill a little bit more, but that hole was actually drilled with this bit, but the plate was hot and the bit was relatively cool. But we see that when the uh, bit uh, uh, is cool and the plate is hot, that the bit slips through the hole. Now if we cool that hole back down again, or cool the plate back down surrounding the hole by putting this uh, wet rag on here and letting some of that uh, heat uh, get transferred into the, the moisture in this rag, then we cool the plate back down to somewhere near its uh, room temperature condition and uh, we'll see what's happened to the hole upon cooling it down. We see now the hole again has uh, closed up and is no longer sufficiently large to allow the bit to slide through. Another example of thermal expansion involves uh, something like this bimetallic strip. Here I have uh, two pieces of metal bonded together, one piece of metal on one side and another piece of metal on the opposite side. They're bonded together, very thin uh, uh, strips of metal, such that when I heat this up, one side will have a, uh, an expansion coefficient that will allow it to expand more than does the other side. So if one side expands more and the other side expands but expands less, then that will cause a, a warping or a bending of this piece of metal. Let's see what happens when I put it in the flame. So I put this in the flame and we see that, uh, that this side expands more than this side. The outs what is now the outside has expanded more. The inside has expanded but expanded less, indicating that we can have uh, thermal expansion which can cause things to change their shape. And uh, this is the basis for many thermostatic control devices and many other practical applications. Now when I take this and cool it back down again by putting it in the water, then uh, that should bring it back down uh, more close, more nearly to uh, room temperature and it is more nearly uh, straightened out again, indicating that uh, when it cools off, uh, each side cools and uh, comes back to the original shape it was that we started with when it's at room temperature. Another example of that same kind of thing is in the little uh, flasher unit that we find up under the dashboard of our automobiles that make our turn signals work. And uh, here I have one with the cover taken off and uh, inside of this uh, if you can see that, there's a little uh, bimetallic strip at this position about right here. 
and uh, that little coil of wire wraps around a bimetallic strip and when that's uh, heated up it will cause it to uh, expand and that'll turn the circuit off it will open up the switch it's like opening a switch and then it contracts as it cools goes back over that's like closing a switch so it opens and closes opens and closes and when I turn this on it'll cause this uh, turn signal light to blink as that uh, as this little miniature switch here heats up cools off heats up, cools off, and expands, contracts in such a way that it causes that little bimetallic strip to bend in much the same way that this bimetallic strip bent, and it opens and closes the circuit, making that uh, turn signal uh, blink on and off. Thermal expansion. <laughs>